due to these two diseases, these lifestyle diseases. So what is causing these diseases exactly? Because uh, cholesterol and because of the protein in these animal-based foods that create this habit in our bodies. And uh, I would like to say something about the dangers of dairy products. We have been taught that we need milk for calcium and we rely on milk to get the nutrients. But today we are going to unlearn those things which you have been taught so far. You know something, a glass of milk may contain 135 million muscle cells. That is the reality now. Nowadays milk is prepared, uh, is manufactured in a cruel way in the factory farms and cows are tortured to get milk. We have been thinking that milk is a health food, but it is not so. It is a myth. You know the protein in milk called casein is really toxic to our system. This, tox this protein can act as a toxin and it is the food directly responsible for all these array of diseases. Acne, eczema, arthritis, osteoporosis, kidney disease, to decay, sinus inflammation, sinusitis, spiritual bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, and cancers of breast and prostate. All these have been scientifically proven. We are not just telling that all these things are scientifically proven. We have facts. There is one book called The China Study, which is written by Dr. Colin Campbell. I would say that this is the most comprehensive scientific study ever done about diet and nutrition. So in this book, China study, Dr. Colin Campbell explains the causes of the modern day lifestyle diseases. And he also uh, he has proved that all these diseases should be reversed with the right type of food. In the China study, the author Dr. Campbell and the co-authors Jacob and Thomas to reveal that there is a direct relationship between eating animal protein and the risk of developing breast cancer, prostate cancer, bowel cancer, coronary artery disease, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, autoimmune diseases, obesity, degenerative brain diseases and also macular degeneration. Give out calcium and milk in this day reaches calcium out of our body. 
leading to weaker bones and osteoporosis. and 
reverse diabetes. So he has an organization called Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine where more than 5,000 doctors around the globe are working together to uh, bring this knowledge to the people around the globe. And uh, Sharon, in collaboration with PCR, we are doing many things. We are connecting a 21-day online uh, Kingstar program, which the details of which I'll provide at the end of this program. And uh, we are going to launch uh, some certification programs and plant-based nutrition in the future. So, you may be wondering what a plant-based diet is and how to start with it. It's so easy. It's not going to be a difficult diet. Okay? Uh, I just remember a joke. Uh, one patient went to a doctor and he told him, Doctor, I want to reduce my body weight. So would you please suggest me a diet regimen which would uh, suit me? The doctor said, yes, you can uh, try this. In the morning you can have uh, green tea and for breakfast you can have a cup of uh, vegetable salad and fruit salad and uh, just one slice of uh, whole wheat bread. And in the afternoon you are going to have a small cup of uh, uh, sprouts and uh, maybe one or two dry rotis with vegetables. And for dinner you can have uh, one roti uh, with some sachi. So he said this. The, pa the patient was patiently listening to him and he asked this question to the doctor again. Doctor, everything is okay but I have a doubt. Uh, should I take all these things before my food or after my food? So this is not going to be such a diet, but this is going to be this is going to be a life-changing experience for you. You can choose your foods from these four major food groups: fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. This is what we call the power play: fruits, vegetables, legumes, and grains. And you can add nothing seeds to this. So I will explain each and everything in detail. You all know about fruits. Actually man is meant to be a fruitarian. Fruits are the gifts from nature. Fruits are the real fast food which we need to rely upon. But we have been uh, addicted to these unhealthy junk foods and fast foods. If you want to choose a real health fast food, just choose fruits. Fruits are rich in fiber. They are rich in antioxidants. These antioxidants are very essential for preventing various lifestyle diseases. These antioxidants can help prevent cancers. These antioxidants are very much essential for our day-to-day -day life. And fruits also come with lots of phytonutrients. Phytonutrients means plant-based nutrients. And these are found only in plant-based foods and not in any animal-based foods. Each and every phytonutrient has its own healing effect. Say for example, the phytonutrient called thakain, found in papaya fruit, can help heal stomach ulcers. It can help prevent stomach cancers. And the phytonutrient
kind of phase in which is a milk protein which can cause cancers and also the other other proteins found in all the animal based foods which can lead to various other life changes. Do you agree? 
Just for one week. Go without cares. Don't take cares. Can you do that? Yes. You have full confidence? I'm just telling you, just I'm coming here. Be brave. Okay. You can do that, right? So, would it be possible for you to start milk from tomorrow onwards? Yeah. This is what I expect. That's the thing. You are ready to give up carrot from tomorrow onwards, but you are not ready to give up milk. Why? What is the reason? Can you guess?
we are contributing to our own in health. So you can replace your white sugar, which is uh, not at all healthy, which is which can be addressed as white poison. You can just remove that and replace that with raw sugar or organic candy or dates or raisins or palm sugar or date sugar. These are all the alternatives which you can use for sugar. Of course, this is not recommended for diabetes. For diabetes, we recommend a different regimen. This is for everyone who is uh, health conscious. Starting from case to elderly people who do not have diabetes can use these alternative sweeteners. But you, you may be asking what would be the alternative for diabetics? Yeah, they have options too, which you can learn in the reverse diabetes program. And uh, how many of you like uh, your tea and coffee? How many of you like to have your tea when and when you get up in the morning? How many of you are coffee fans? Okay, fine. So, you'll be finding it difficult to stop your walk in tea again, right? Like the milk, it is also going to be another task for you. Don't worry, it's very easy. So, you are using milk for uh, your tea and coffee. What you can do is you can just replace your milk, dairy milk, with soy milk, or almond milk, or cashew milk, or coconut milk, and make a coffee. And for the sweetener, you can use jaggeries, or rock sugar, or palm, palm jaggery or palm sugar, all these things. You just try it for a while and you will definitely like the taste. I would ask you to stop your coffee and tea immediately because uh, you have been taking, if you have been taking it so long, then uh, you might have uh, this craving for that, you might have been addicted to this because of the caffeine can drink. Coffee and tea, both coffee and tea have caffeine in them. So I would ask you to stop that immediately. If you stop coffee and tea immediately, then you will likely suffer from withdrawal symptoms. So it's better. You replace the uh, milk in the coffee and tea with plant-based milk and replace the white sugar with these healthy sweeteners and continue that. And gradually make the transition. Then the next step is you can go with uh, green tea and finally you can go with herbal teas. Herbal teas for the latte. Green tea is good in a transition phase, but it's not uh, very good for uh, very good if you're very much unconscious. You know, it has also caffeine content, but the caffeine content is somewhat still lesser than that of the black coffee and tea. You know the withdrawal symptoms. You know, if you miss your cup of coffee, what will happen? Yeah, that is one withdrawal symptom. Some people may be feeling low energy levels because caffeine used to your caffeine can stimulate the brain and it will uh, make you to uh, it will make you feel like energized. But it's not actually doing so. It's actually like uh, whipping the exhausted house. You know? Honey is a sweetener. I won't recommend honey as a sweetener because honey is not a health product. Honey is for honey bees. Not for us. Nature has given us many health, healthy sweeteners. You know? Why should we go for honey? It has nothing to that. We, yeah, we have been told that honey is healthy, it has vitamins and all. Maybe it has some vitamins. Uh, I don't disagree, but it has no no fiber in it. You know. And uh, one more thing is honey is nothing but honey bees vomit. Do you want to think that? It can be. Honey is not a part of vegan diet for ethical reasons, one for ethical reasons. And here, while considering your health also, uh, there is no difference in consuming white sugar and honey. Okay? So that's the reason uh, I'm not recommending honey. Yeah, you know, you know uh, honey bee spends lots of time in energy to collect the nectar and convert it into honey. Why should we exploit those poor beings? We have many options. Nature has given us lots of sweet fruits, lots of uh, alternatives which we can make it from the natural sources. Then why should we exploit it, these four beings? Just think about this. And you can replace your butter with uh, peanut butter or cashew butter or sesame butter, almond butter. These are options. And you can make all these things at your home. You can replace ghee and oil with grated coconut, crushed peanut and sesame seeds. Initially, you may like to use uh, extra virgin 
corporate law or something like that for me. But uh, it is oh, it is good if you could uh, reduce the consumption of oil gradually and shift to a whole food plant based diet where you can use these healthy alternatives instead of your oil and meat. So for cheese, how many of you like cheese? In your pizza. Okay, kids like them very much. Because cheese, um, again it has this morphine, uh, sorry, this casein, and uh, this is also very much addictive. And cheese contributes to cheese contributes to obesity, especially in children. Children who consume lots of cheese develop childhood obesity. Not only childhood obesity, but also various other disorders, digestive disorders at all. You we have variety of vegan cheeses available. You can check in terms of side and you can replace that. And you can also use nutritional yeast flakes as an uh, alternative to cheese. So for white bread and white flour, you, have, you can use millet flour, red rice flour, you can use ragi bread, whole wheat bread, and you can use all the whole grains which of the refined ones. You know for how maida is made, they are refining that and they are adding all the amount of chemicals. I think some chemical for that love saying is added in that, which is actually a dye. And uh, people who consume this maida, they tend to develop gastrointestinal diseases, especially hemorrhoids or pies. Then they may develop uh, other gastrointestinal diseases like colitis or irritable bowel syndrome or stomach ulcers. In Kerala, they have banned bad uh, this maida, but we are still consuming that in all the uh, so it is good, good if you replace these uh, refined flour with a whole grain flour or with millet flour. And uh, you can replace your wheat flour with millets. And about salt, you can replace your iodized refined table salt with a traditional sea salt. Or you can use a Himalayan salt or rock salt. And for fried foods, you can replace fried foods with baked or roasted alternatives or steamed alternatives. Yeah, I'm not a dance, so I can't think of it. 
good enough to say like this I can enjoy as much as you want. So for soft drinks, how many of you take soft drinks every day? So you're all very health conscious people. You don't take these uh, soft drinks, right? Very good, very good. So you know